The sirens were wailing and pickering today as the town prepared for the unthinkable. Adrian Gobriel tells us tonight whether residents of Pickering are really ready for a potential nuclear disaster. Did you hear the alarm this morning? No, I didn't. Would you know what they were for if you heard them? No. Inside Durham's Darlington plant, four nuclear reactors. Workers know exactly what to do in the event of an emergency. But on the outside... Oh, were we supposed to know it was a test? That's the question. Sirens are positioned over a 10-kilometer radius surrounding the Darlington nuclear plant. They tested the alarm at 9.30 this morning. It sounded like more fire trucks. That's all. Kind of wondering, well, wonder if something got hit by the lightning. <laughs> Today was one of two of three mock nuclear emergency drills at the heavily armed Durham plant operated by Ontario Power Generation. 54 government agencies are involved, part of a massive exercise that hasn't been performed since 1999. Your focus group did find that some people in the area don't know what to do in the case of nuclear disaster. Sure, and that's one of the reasons that we uh, uh, recently put out the emergency uh, brochure in the uh, highly unlikely uh, event of a nuclear emergency. Here's what you should do. It's these pamphlets that were mailed out to 200,000 homes in the area at $3 a piece. Now that's $600,000 in public money. They come with a nifty flashlight, but the exterior somewhat nondescript reading, never be in the dark with your safety. Did you get one of these in the mail? Yeah, uh, kids love the little flashlight aspect of it. First I thought it was an ice scraper for the windows, to be honest with you. Oh, that's an ice, ice scraper. scraper, yeah. Inside the confusing pamphlet is actually some pertinent information, including how to prepare an emergency survival kit. We're hoping that uh, when this landed in the households of Durham residents that they would just not take it and throw it in the trash bin. Right? Feel any more prepared in the event of a, a nuclear emergency? Nope, can't say that I do. <laughs> Whatever the outreach they're doing, uh, notifying people of a test, I would assume that would include some instructions, which we didn't get. Day three of the mock exercise wraps up tomorrow when the federal government steps in. I'm told Health Canada and Public Safety will be testing its preparedness in the event of a nuclear emergency. At the Darlington Nuclear Plant, Adrian Gobriel, City News.